as a budget watch collector, would you rather save up your money to spend $500 on one perfect all around watch? Or would you rather spread that money around, get as many quality watches as possible to have as diverse a collection as possible? Well, you might be able to tell by the way I frame that question. I'm definitely in the second group, and that's the whole idea behind this. This is my $500 watch box, because not only can I not afford to spend $500 on one random watch, I can't even afford a watch box. So I made this out of cardboard. This is all out of Spindrift seltzer boxes. Not sponsored by Spindrift, by the way. And the goal was to see how many watches I could fill in this box with the grand total being $500. This is the Budget Watch Collecting Channel. Welcome to it, by the way. It's the 1010 Club. All you got to do to be a member of the club is click subscribe. At least two new videos every week. So I really appreciate it. Helps the channel a bunch. And welcome on the journey. So today I'm going to go over these watches. I'll go over them briefly, plus give you some specs, also show you how much I spent on each watch versus normally how much it would cost because I save money on literally every one of these watches. Also, just a small note, there's not gonna be any of these like AliExpress watches, no homage watches. I know they're very, very cheap, so you really could fill this watch up quickly. Watch up, watch box up quickly. But this was more to show how many original watches you can buy. There's a lot of in-house movements in this watch box and a lot of kind of quality from brands we know and trust. So that's the way I went with this watch box. I would love to hear your feedback on which way you would have gone in the comments. But before we get to that, let's get to the $500 watch box and go over here. Time to crack open the Spindrift watch box, not sponsored by Spindrift, and check out everything I've been able to amass over the last few months. Again, the total of which is $500. So we'll start here, go across, then up, then over here, because why not? We'll go over each of these only quickly because there's a lot to get to, and you might have recognized one or seven of these watches already. But I just want to show you each one and how much I paid for it, and we can do the math together. So the first one... Very famous, the Casio G-Shock. I got this used on eBay for $25, but you really wouldn't be able to tell. This is a perfect condition G-Shock, and these things are meant to withstand much more than just the casual wear. So I am fully, fully confident that this watch will last me a lifetime. And again, about $40 to $50 on Amazon or wherever you want to pick up these watches, but I got this. It was listed for $30 on eBay, but they had that very handy or best offer button. Click that, offered the guy $25. He said yes. And here we are, the $25 Casio G-Shock, the first of this collection. Now you might notice that a lot of these watches are Casios and Seikos. That's because they're the most reliable and affordably priced watches I could find that I also really, really dug. There are some watches though, like this one, that I'm willing to bet you haven't seen a lot of. This is the Seiko Recraft, the SNKM97. I believe. $108 I got this for on Amazon Warehouse. That's another way you can save money on watches. And there's a link to a video I posted about how to use Amazon Warehouse to your benefit. This watch listed for about $180 normally. I got it again for $108 because it was returned. There was some damage on the package, but there was absolutely no damage to the watch. And all you got to do, dress it up a little bit on this leather strap. I hope the light is catching this as much as it should. I'll pull in some other shots of these watches because this watch is just gorgeous. $108, automatic. It's the 7S26 movement inside, but just the different dial depths, the way that the sunburst catches the light. This is absolutely a recraft, absolutely a 70s flavor, but it's just such a beautiful watch to me. And for $108, absolutely could not resist. And that's why it's in the $500 Spindrift watch box. You may have noticed also the wonderful, luxurious watch pillows. Well, I can't afford a watch box, so what makes you think I can afford a watch pillow? Every time a toilet paper roll is used up, we don't have hamsters to make a little play tube, so instead I make these watch cushions. So here's the next watch. Not a Seiko, not a Casio, but a Vostok. Vostok Commandeerski. I always trip over that. Vostok Commandeerski. There it is. It's supposed to be a field watch, but this is more of a diver with the specs. 200 meters of water resistance, a screw down crown, a beautiful domed acrylic crystal. And I got this direct from Marinom, the official Vostok dealer from Russia, $58. $58 for a hacking, hand winding, 200 meter water resistant, all stainless steel watch. Can't do much better than that. 
There are some downsides, and I have uh, made two videos about the Commandeer Ski, both what you can expect when you order one from Marinon. That will be in the description of this video, and also the Vostok versus the Casio Duro. You might have spotted that in here, but we're going to save that for later. But again, $58 for this watch. Absolutely gorgeous and absolutely fully specced out. Moving along... As we get in focus, tool watch, you will absolutely recognize my favorite budget Casio to date, the A168, well, we'll put the model number. I'm not a model number O file. It's hard for me to remember which one this is, but I absolutely love this watch. Not only is it so classy, I just love the stainless steel bracelet and the kind of high chrome fake finish on here, but the Indiglo on this thing, is absolutely breathtaking. Way, way better than the F91W. That's why this is in the Spindrift $500 watch box and the other one is not. But I picked this up for, oh, I have my notes, 12, 12, $12, I got this. All right. There are some very cheap watches, like the $12 Casio, but there's also some kind of mid-price watches and that's where we'll find this. And by mid-priced, I mean mid-priced affordable. The Seiko SNZH57. Another beautiful watch with a beautiful dome. I actually have already modded this watch and replaced the domed Hardlex with a domed Sapphire Crystal. There's this box dome that is just gorgeous. And look at the distortion angles on this thing. I picked this up used from eBay, $125. But the hollow link, hollow end link, stamp clasp, 7S36 in the back, 100 meters of water resistance, no screw down crown, but this bezel I absolutely love. It's also coated in a hard lex crystal, so it has some depth that you normally wouldn't see on a watch bezel. Just gorgeous. Every time I open, it's going to get fuzzy. It's like those witness protection interviews when they're in the shadows so you can hear my voice speaking of beautifully domed crystals here's another not seiko and not casio the orient bambino version 2 this watch hacks it hand winds has a really fun dome on top with some more really great distortion angles and i love this watch you can dress it up it's a dress watch but you can also kind of dress it down i have it right now on this canvas sailcloth sailcloth feel like a lot of these watches aren't catching the light when they're in my hands today. So I'm going to go heavy on the glamour shots to really show off these watches because this thing is just stunning. I found this again on Amazon warehouse, $86. You can get them new for like 120, 130. This was used, but they only said that the packaging was damaged and there wasn't any manual. Well, it turns out there actually was a manual. The packaging was fine. And this watch was basically brand new. So $86 for a hacking, hand-winding, gorgeous-looking Orient with an in-house movement. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Date complication as well. As I'm putting some of these back, they're just getting messy. But let's move up and over to another famous watch, the Casio Royale. Now, if this looks slightly different than other Royales you've seen, it's because I slightly modded it. I got most of the writing off it. There's a video on what to expect and what to avoid when you do that because I made some glaring errors on this watch, but luckily it was only $18. And for 18 bucks, you can mess around to your heart's content. There's about 7,000 different world time zones on this watch, which is a really fun complication. You can also always have your home time on this kind of watch hand on the top left alarms 100 meters of water resistance really you can go anywhere and do anything with this and if you don't want to shell out for a g-shock even though you can get one for as low as 25 dollars as i just showed you an 18 dollars casio royale is an awesome replacement or an awesome alternative love this watch it's in the watch box so here's a fun one and one that i guarantee you have never seen before because this is kind of a franken watch and not a franken watch as in it came from a different country with a lot of weird pieces in it it's all seiko oem but it's been put together 
and it's from the 90s. So I found this on eBay, $29, and I had to pick it up. I just love this kind of mother of pearl looking dial with the gold and the gold bracelet. Just a really fun watch, $29 I spent on this thing. It's a quartz, you can see the SQ in the bottom right there on the dial. But the way it was described was a Seiko quartz movement with this dial put into a different Seiko case, but it didn't originally come with the movement and the dial that you see here. Also, the guy said he had a watchmaker replace the crystal. That's why there's absolutely no blemishes on a watch crystal from a watch that ostensibly is from the early 90s. And then, a, as he described it, a period correct gold plated bracelet. So this is not the Seiko bracelet, but I do think it goes very well with the entire feel of this watch. And for $29, a Seiko Quartz with a day-date complication, everything works perfectly. Brand new battery was also placed in this watch. So all of that for $29, it's going in the Spindrift $500 watch box. So we're almost at the end and we basically are because the last watch is, well, more of a weird bonus that I'll describe, but you really can't talk about affordable watches without talking about the Casio Duro. This watch right now on Amazon, you can get it. It's back down to $44. It's 200 meters of water resistance. It's a 120 click unidirectional bezel that clicks so well and lines up perfectly. Loom on the hands and indices. Did I mention the screw down crown? It comes on a black leather strap. No, it doesn't. It comes on a black dive strap. Here it is right here. But I really love how it pops on this brown strap I got for just a few bucks on eBay. The blue and brown, always a classic. And by the way, if you're wondering why, I recently made a video on the science behind matching your watches to your outfits. There is a reason why blue and brown go so well together. And if you've been kind of confused on what to wear with which watch, I would recommend you checking out that video. The color wheel and the video should help you out a lot. So $44 on Amazon right now. That sounds pretty good for a true 200 meter diver. I left out one watch and I'll get to that in a second because I do want to give you the grand total of everything. So from the 25, 108, 58, was that 12, 125, 86, uh, 18, 29, 44. The grand total, if I just remembered off the top of my head those numbers correctly, is $508. I hope you'll allow me to go just over the top. So for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine watches, $500 was spent. And we have watches with 200 meters of water resistance. We have watches with 100 meters of water resistance. We have digital watches. We have dress watches. We have dive watches. We have really fun retro watches. We have domed crystals. We have hacking and hand winding. We have automatic. We have quartz watches, both digital and analog. What more could you look for? And that's actually kind of where this comes in. <laughs> this is my Elvis watch. And the reason it's here is because it's free. You got to count your gifts and you always have to be on the lookout for deals. That's why I have the video on using Amazon warehouse to save money. It's a way to grab a deal. That's also why I had the video when I was gifted a fashion watch. I tried to flip it on eBay and then use money to buy two other watches. That video is right here. And I was successful. Spoiler alert. I was able to sell the fashion watch from fossil and two of the watches in here were bought because of it. You can check out that video. Again, I put that link in just a few seconds ago. So I just really wanted to show you one option with $500. Again, you could spend $500 on just one watch. And in fact, I spent $300 on a watch recently that I said could be your perfect one watch collection. I'll put that link right there. The Saab 035, and in many ways it is true. But look at the rainbow of choices here. I personally think if I had $500, I would definitely pass up on just getting that one if you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 watches for the same price. There's so much fun here. There's so much variety. There's so many different colors. There's green, there's blue, there's black, there's digital display, there's gold, there's white. Everything you could possibly want to wear, in my opinion, is right here. And that is the $500 watch box completed. 
you really could go years without needing another watch with this collection. Although I'm not even going to promise I'm going one month without getting another watch. But just the diversity, I mean, I tried to put it in as many ways as possible while we were looking at the watches, but the different colors, the different styles, the different brands, yeah, there's four different brands in there, not counting the Elvis watch, but we don't have to count the Elvis watch. And from the leathers to the metals to, I'm not even gonna get into it again. This is my presentation for my favorite collection of watches for $500. Again, I'd love to hear where you would have gone differently in the comments. Would you have gone for less watches, but more money per watch? I just like the fact that I have nine watches for $500, all of them quality, all of them heritage brands, all of them I can be proud of and wear for basically ever. Two new videos every week on this channel, at least two. I've been averaging two. A subscription really helps. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.